How can we help our clients overcome the limiting beliefs that hold them back? According to Dr. Bessel van der Kolk, theater and drama can play an important role. Take a look at this very personal story that Bessel shares about his son and how theater changed his life. You need to have experiences that give you a visceral sense of, wow, I can do that. Nothing cognitive. It's visceral. Huh? And so uh, the chapter, chapter 18 of my book is about theater. And the chapter 18 and 20 both, actually. Uh, and 18 is about doing structures with people that I learned from El Paso, where you basically have your childhood experiences and have a visceral theatrical experiences, how things could have been different back then. It's so quite, quite a complex way of doing things. Um, you need a fairly large group of people for it because it's theatrical. And then people really have to experience, oh my God, if somebody would have helped me like this when I was three years old and that, that happened, and somebody had done that, oh my God. And they started sort of rearranging their perceptions. And so it's really having a visceral experience. The other favorite treatment of mine is theater work. And again, we have research theater work, we do theater, is to actually play a role where you play somebody who is different from who you usually are. And so you are frozen and terrified and you play the role of Catherine of Aragon and you become a queen. And you stand there and you tell your role. But the story I like to tell about is my own son who was a very frozen, um, medically ill kid who starts playing the rocket in the West Side Story. He's the guy, the gang member who plays, um, uh, the gang member who sings the Officer Kropke. And so my son is sort of this frozen, miserable kid. He seen walks in the house and he goes, like, boy, boy, where's he boy? Keep cool, boy. And I see this frozen kid take on the role of this cool guy. And he exits and he thinks, wow. I enjoy being Rocket much more than I enjoy being Nick. And so his next role is the Fonz in, in uh, Happy Days. And he goes like, da -da. and the girls love him. And he says, I'm going to be like the Fonz. I'm not going to be like the frozen scared kid who I was. And my son has grown up to be a fantastically visible, pleasure-holding kid who goes to theater. Uh, I think nothing else could have done. One of my favorite three, uh, programs um, is um, it's a program at Western Massachusetts called Shakespeare and the Courts, where if you're a juvenile delinquent, you can be condemned to become a Shakespearean actor. And you have to show up. If you don't show up, the police comes and drives you to the theater and say, you either act in the theater or you go to jail. And um, and that's a fantastic program. And that was funded by the CDC? No, that's, that program is funded by uh, contributors to Shakespeare and Company. And they got some mass college, uh, mass cultural council money. Do you have any outcome measures yet? No, I, I, I'm just a fan of that program. I'm not measuring it. Uh, but, but the idea is, is indeed, it's the frozen kids who need to be seduced into doing this work. It's the ones who need it the most who are the least likely. Right. And so um, one of the most pleasurable things about our theater program was hiring our acting group. And my criteria was that if I would see an actor come in and I think to myself, when I grow up, I want to be just like that person. He or she was hired. Because and that's in the way who we all should be when we deal with the trauma those kids. They have to want to be like who they're working with. So we have to be a personal inspiration by the way we move and the way we act. Now these very ter terrified kids are like, wow, she's cool. I'd like to be like her. This is just one example of the kinds of experiences that can help clients overcome their limitations and begin to see what they can do. And now I'd like to hear from you. What have you found to be effective in helping clients overcome their limiting beliefs? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.